Now everybody, welcome to the GMG Review. Today we're taking a look at Warhammer, the Horus Heresy, the Kratos Assault Tank. Big giant heavy tank and answering the question, can you build it with all three turrets? Well, here he is, dun, 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 dun. the Kratos Assault Tank, uh, built in, of course, sub-assemblies, as is my way of doing things. Um, I like to sort of have things in parts so that I can use different kinds of primer and different airbrushing and stuff. Um, and I've gone and built Sponsons, uh, and then all the cannon options here, and then of course the main battle cannon option on the turret swivel. So, short answer for can you build it with all three turrets? Yes and no. <laughs> so the yes part is the um, top plate can be built to pop off, and you can see here that the turret itself is on a little like up-down swivel arm. Um, you could very easily pop a magnet down here. I, I haven't done the magnetizing yet because I'm still kind of thinking about it. Um, but I've built all of the, the three options. So the battle cannon option is the easiest one. It has a simple back plate right here, uh, which I've glued in, and there isn't a great way to magnetize without building out a plate underneath it here. Um, but you could very easily do so in order to like try and uh, make it a little more like um, options friendly. And the reason for that is there are back pieces that need to sit in that same spot. So for instance, if I wanted the Volkite Caliber, it'll sit in here. You're probably going to want to magnetize that one. You could push fit it. It can sit simple. But then this piece is designed to sit over top of here. So my options are either shave this down in here so that it fits over top of that back plate, which is what I'm probably going to do. I'm just going to saw off the depth of that thing. So saw back to maybe here and just have it sit over top as an extra piece, right? Like this. So you have the little Volkite like energy charger at the back. Um, or yeah, there's not really another option. And then for the melted cannon, same thing, all three of the actual like guns, if you don't care about the extra sort of accoutrement, will fit in easily and you can just pop the top plate back on. Um, but then the back plate is different yet again. The top plate, however, for the melted cannon <laughs> sits on quite nicely. So as long as you don't care about this little round guy at the back, kind of like the little exhaust port for the melted cannon or the thermal lance or whatever it's called, you're good to go. Like of the two of them, the battle cannon and the uh, melted cannon are the easiest swap. Uh, and then the caliber, if you just shave down the back there, you should be able to get all three. So that's my plan. I also might just magnetize this and have it sit on top because you can see that it could just sit on there. I could put a little magnet inside and have it just be extended at the back. So if I really cared, you could definitely make all three. Um, and if you don't care at all about the top plates and stuff and you just want the barrel, it's super simple. You can easily have all three on here and just hot swap them in and out. What I'll probably do is put magnets, this little flat spot and this little flat spot right here, probably the best spot for them and just have some teeny tiny little ones because they'll sit flush and then it's popped on and you've got all three guns for the Kratos. Now I built mine with a smoke launcher, las cannons, and then the Volkite culverins for the flanks there. Um, but again, a lot like the frame for the uh, Spartan that had additional las cannons and stuff like that and bits to make probably the Proteus or the Explorer las cannons. I think it's probably going to be the Proteus. Um, these look like they are just a Sponson frame and will work with the Predator frames too. So if you get a collection of these because you have a bunch of Predators, you'll probably be able to swap off your Sponsons as well because they're just clip-ons, right? So they just have the two little flanges there and then you pop it on and then drop it down and it's ready to rock and roll. So you've, you've definitely got the ability here to, if there's uh, if this is a universal frame, which kind of makes sense with like the STC technology and stuff like that the Imperium uses, uh, to, to swap out your, your bits and pieces on the sides as well. So definitely worth doing. There is no missing bits from any of the barrels. So if you just wanted to do barrel swaps, you very easily could. And then, of course, I left this off. This, if you got really strong magnets, you could probably magnetize as well. I actually... Except for like aesthetically, I don't super duper see the value of it, um, but it'll just pop in there in the middle and yeah, and sit in and that's it. So this guy is, this guy is also ready to rock and roll and you've got your, your big dozer blade on top of it too, which is pretty impressive. I haven't actually, I wanted to build it just to see it. I haven't actually decided if I'm going to put it on or not yet. Uh, and there it is. So can you do all three barrels in the Kratos? The answer is yes. It's a little bit extra work or almost no extra work, depending upon how sort of like you want to tackle the project um but it's very doable so let's check out if you want to check out the video today i'm going to check out the um special weapons and see if we can stick them on different marks of space marines so you all look at the big old kratos assault tank and building it with its various turret options now i'm <laughs> i don't know if i'm going to build it as raven guard 
I'm so undecided. The only reason I haven't painted it yet is it doesn't really fit the theme of like the infiltrating sneaky Raven Guard. I'm tempted to maybe paint it for my Alpha Legion or maybe just save it for my Blood Angels. So you tell me in the comments which Legion you think I should paint it as. I'm doing Blood Angels for um, the uh, uh, campaign I'm running, the uh, Repentance campaign, and I'm tempted. To, I feel like of the three of them, they'd be the more likely to have it. Uh, cause it's like a big, huge assault tank. Like it's not, an ex even the Spartan feels like it's almost too much. At least it carries guys for the Raven Guard. It adds some mobility to like the Terminators and stuff. I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Tell me in the comments what you think. Uh, and you can check out the next video, which is on the special weapon box. So big thanks for watching. Talk to Ash. Okay. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed that video. There are tons of other games all recorded for you to watch. Click over to my channel page if you haven't already, and have a look to the dozens of playlists full of videos. I guarantee you'll discover a game you haven't seen played before. I put out new videos seven days a week, and every day is themed to a different genre as I continue to explore the wider world of gaming. Of course, none of that's possible without you, the viewer, so click a like and subscribe if you'd like to stay on top of what's happening here daily. My two kids and I are massively grateful to be able to have the flexibility of this job so I can always maximize my time with them. If you want to support me continuing to put out this content, it's only possible because of my amazing backers on Patreon who support the studio, equipment, and model cost, as well as being how I make the bulk of my living. You can also help out by buying a t-shirt through Spreadshirt, a measuring gauge or widget from Death Ray Designs, or buying one of my games and supplements like Last Days, Gamma Wolves, and Blaster. As a way of showing my appreciation, patrons get early access to new games and supplements that I write throughout the course of the year. Huge thanks for watching, it really does help out, and happy gaming.